peeps welcome back to my channel for another tutorial today we're gonna make a couple simple um halloween cookies to go in our little cookie tray right here and uh it's probably gonna be the last um cookies we're gonna make to add up to the tray because then we're gonna move on to like some fall and you know other holiday stuff so this is what I made. I made these cookies. These little Frankenstein. And we got a pumpkin cookie. I got a new light. So it might be a really extra bright, but I'm sorry. I thought I, I could use a little bit more light. And then uh, I'm we gonna make the finger cookie because I did. People did suggest that I show you how to do it. So we gonna make some. So for the finger, we're gonna use Model Magic, right? But for these cookies, I did not use Soldo and I did not use Model Magic. What I used was this. And I'm sure you guys have seen it before. It's uh Crayola air dry clay. This is not my favorite clay. I bought this when I first started fake baking. Because I thought, you know, it was a good thing. But then I found out that it's really... I mean, you could use it for fake bakes. That's what, how I, that's what these cookies are made out of. You know? But I just wanted to use this up. Because I had it for a while and I don't really want it to go back because it wasn't cheap. So I made these, you know, I cut these out. I did it the same way. I showed you how to do any other cookie. You roll it out between your two painter sticks to the thickness that you want. You cut it out with your cookie cutter. This is the one I got from Dollar Tree. And into, the, you know, whatever shape you want. And then... This takes at least a week to harden. And that's another reason why I really didn't like it. Because it takes too long to dry. It's a bit chalky. And it's heavy. Hear that? It's a heavy cookie compared to like a model like cookie. This is a model like cookie. It's very light. You don't... And... This is heavy. This is a heavy. It's, it kind of reminds me of salt dough. So it's definitely a heavier cookie. But because I wanted to use this up. And because I wanted to show you guys a different type of air dry clay. Like say you don't want to make salt dough. Or you don't like making salt dough. This is a, a good option for that. So you can make a sturdier cookie. Okay. Just wanted to share that with you guys. So I cut the cookies out and I let them dry, right? These are the cookies. I'm going to show you. This is um spackle. Maybe I should turn this light off. I don't know if I, if I really like this light. Let's see. It looks kind of dark now, but I don't... Hold on. Let me... Let's see if I could... Um, I think that's better. I adjusted it. Um, I just put some spackle on here. So we're going to do that part. I'm going to show you how to do that part. It's easy. It's just like putting spackle on anything else. I got some here that I had already made. Get me a craft stick. And so you just take your spackle and you're going to spread it on here like like a real like how you would do a real cookie just spread it on you know smooth it out as best you can get to the edges and then just go across and spread it out see it spreads pretty easy right now you're gonna let this 
you don't have to let that um dry for a couple days you want to make sure it's very very dry so when you get it i don't know if you can see that but you see it's a bit rough if you want to flatten it or if you want it to look more like a realistic cookie you can leave it like this but let's say you want it to get like a flatter surface so what you're going to do is get you one of these um sanding blocks and you just could sand it because right this is plaster not plaster um spackle you know the same thing they use when you're fixing a hole in your wall you sand it down right and once you sand it down look what happens see all the roughness went away and then you could put your pumpkin face on here right so what i did hold on let me get a wet wipe clean up this right here because I'm always got to be knocking something down. And um, you're going to get a pencil. And you're just going to draw the face on. Draw your, you know, the eyes. I'm not the best at drawing. Actually, I'm the worst. So then you're going to make the mouth. I'm telling you, this is not my thing. I am not the best at drawing at all. Right? Just going to draw a face on with a pencil. Then, you're going to get you some slick paint. If you don't have slick paint, you can use, um, you can use caulk and Mod Podge or Mod Podge and paint. Put it in a little um in a in a in a piping bag or in a little plastic baggie. Make the tiniest hole, like I always tell you. Ugh, this is so annoying. Make the tiniest hole and then you squeeze it out and you put it on there. So you just go around what you drew, fill it in. Right? I like to wipe my tip because it gets filled with gunk real fast. And then you shall have your little pumpkin face. Right? Let me wipe this off. Then you could get your um you know, your toothpick or whatever you have. Smooth out the slick paint. You know, so it won't be looking all lumpy and clumpy. Right? If you want to get one of these fancy needle things whatever <laughs> i have a couple left on my etsy shop um then you're gonna take your green i got this from michael's in the summer it's supposed to be scented not that that matters i just bought it because it was um it was a whole set like eight different ones for like a dollar so it was on clearance so then you're just gonna take your green and go ooh, 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 ooh. And you got your pumpkin cookie, right? You're going to put that to the side and let that dry. Um, You could put some glitter on it if you want. Why not? Right? Glitter that up. Then... We're going to go on to Frankie's face. So, what I same thing, spackle, put some green. I used um, spring green 
right? Or say you mix it with the spackle and it's not the color green that you want. Think about spackle when you fix a hole in your house or whatever. You could paint it. You could paint over it and you can make the green the as dark as you want. Or you can make it whatever color you want. If, if you want, you could just put white spackling on here and then go back and paint it with this. There's options. You don't have to just do, you know, um, one thing. So let's go on. I'm going to draw Frankie's hair. Not that I really need to, but, you know, I just want you to see you guys how I did it. Drew Frankie's hair. I didn't draw his eyes or anything else. I just did his hair. Um, Because the other stuff is pretty easy. So you're going to go back in there with the black slick paint or uh, your uh, Mod Podge and paint. Whatever you have, you want to do it. Whatever you have, that's what you use. I just like this because it makes it easier for me. That's the only reason why I use it. It just makes it easier. Right, there go Frankie's hair. Wipe your tip off so it won't get clogged. Let's get this so we can uh, fix his hair. You know, with this, with this, you could push the paint to the edge, fill in any little holes. Make sure you get it to the edge at the top. Right. Okay, so that's good. I like the way that looks. So for his eyes, first thing I did, wait, let me get me a, uh, even know where my marker is. I always got to forget something, you know, right? But I thought I had a marker in here. I do, it's right here. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I hate when I do stuff like that. So wait, let's put his, let's do his eyes first. So for his eyes, I got this. This is from Dollar Tree. It's a slick pink white. If you see it, get it. It's a good deal. So I'm just gonna squeeze two two uh circles. There you go. One, two, that's simple, simple. Nothing easier than that. Then you're going to go back and just squeeze two black dots right on top. Right? Then you're going to take your little needle and just make sure you, you know, the eyes don't be point so pointy. There you go. He got eyes now. So what I did, after I put the eyes on, then I did the scar with a marker. Because it's so hard to, I ain't going to lie, it's hard to make those little lines with the um with this. Nothing wrong with using a marker. Mm -mm, nothing at all. You do what you got to do. So then I'm going to make a little nose with my tulip paint. Don't ask me what kind of nose is that. And then we're going to make his mouth. It's just going to be a squiggly, whatever. Let me wipe this off. And now you have your Frankie cookie. It's cute, right? Put that to the side. Oh, wait, let's put some sprinkles. No, oh, let's call it sprinkles. Glitter. I'm sorry, I don't, I always, after I, I look at the video after I, um, recorded it, and I'm like, girl, what are you talking about on this video? But I'm not going back to fix it. I'm not going to record the whole video over because I made, you know, a little error. You guys usually know what I mean any old way, so. All right, so here we go. We got our cookie. Now we're going to move on. To the finger. So, for this one, I took some out of magic and I mixed it with some green and I got this color, right? 
You don't have to do that. You could just get you some green. Um, Bottle Magic. Start straight with the green. Or what you could do, this is another thing I have started, right? Is white. You could paint it green. You could paint it green. Same thing. You'll get the same outcome. Won't be any different. Let's get rid of some of this glitter. So, yeah. You could do that, too. So, I got my my little bit of green. You're going to roll it. You're just going to roll it into a, a log, right? And then you're going to kind of, you know, round it out a little bit. Then you're going to take it and you're going to press it. Like, so you want to get like an indentation for your finger. You know, where a fingernail is going to go. You want to do that. Then... You want to get your, um, what did I do with it? Oh, here you go. And you want to make your knuckle marks. And you want to make these little finger marks. You're just going to go one, two. And then you're going to come up a little further up and make the knuckle marks. See that? Right? And if you want to make it, like, you can make it in any color. Like, this is like a brownish gray color. You can make it whatever color you want. You can paint this one green. Whatever color you want, you can do that. So this is still wet, but I'm going to show you how I did the fingernail. So I went to Dollar Tree, and I got a pack of these fake fingernails. And then I picked the one that I thought would match, you know, the size of the finger best. I kind of measured it, you know, like when you're doing your own nails, you know, you measure it and stuff. Oh, yeah, girl. Anyways, <clears throat> that's what I did. I kind of measured out what size I want the nail to be, right? And you can stick it in there. You see how that look? Yeah, that nail look fancy. So, anyways... You can push it far as far in as you want, right? So now you want to make the nail look crusty like this. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll take the nail out. And I took my, I took a, um, what you call this thing? A cuticle cutter, right? Or anything you have, a scissor, whatever. And I just cut some pieces out of the nail, you know, like scraggly, to make it look scraggly and nasty. So you just do that. You do it however you want. See how I did that? Make the edges look. Don't you hate people? I don't know. <laughs> I don't say don't you hate. I shouldn't use that word. I just like when I see like fingernails that's not, that look like this. Because, I don't know, I just don't like it. I used to do my nails, too. I used to paint my nails and all different styles and designs. So, I guess that's where I get it from. But, then I took something pointy. And I did like this. I scraped. Like, I scraped it. You see this? You see how that look all scraped up? And that's how I got that. I, I just scraped it with something sharp so it can have all these like grooves in it you know how when you get older your nails start getting more and more grooves and stuff so that's what i did i just scraped it up got all the grooves in there and now it's just one little trick i'm gonna show you right after i scrape it up as good as i think i want it right so you see i scraped it up but you can't really see it but if you take a drop of, I don't even have anything to put a drop. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this. If you take a drop of paint, I don't even know if this paint is gonna be. Oh, I should have used this. This brown. If you take a drop, 
You don't even need that much. That's way too much. So you're going to take a drop. And you're going to take most of it off of your finger. And then you're going to rub it on here. Rub it. Rub it. Rub you some more if you need it. But you see it's starting to look. You can start seeing the, the ridges in the finger. Just rub it. Just rub it in there. And you will get a crusty fingernail. You see that? Crusty fingernail. I got to hit this part over here a little bit. And there you go. Maybe a little bit right here. And you got yourself a crusty fingernail. And my nails are crusty too. That's another situation. So you take it. And you put it in there. Yes, you put use some hot glue. I'm gonna use some hot glue a little just a little bit. You don't even need a lot. Just put it right up on the edge right here. And stick it back in that nail. I mean in that finger. You see that crusty finger? Then you're gonna take you could take a um where is my Bro, don't tell me I left it over there. Of course I did. So you get you a brush, right? I don't know why this brush, something is wrong with this brush. I put it to soak yesterday and it didn't get better. So take you a little bit of this, the same paint we use for that fingernail and just dry brush it. So it could give you some of that crusty looking, dirty crusty finger see that right and then you're gonna get you some red I got this one from Dollar Tree too wait let's let's put the scar on it you're gonna put a scar on it like how we did Frankie over there just take it take your marker and put us Put some stitches on there. Then you're going to take your red. Oop, and you're going to go around the fingernail. To give it more. To make it more nasty looking. Just go around it. You don't need to put that much. If you don't want to. Just put it around the edge. All the way around the edge. And that's it. And then and then you got your finger. Your nasty monster finger. See that? Right? Like I said, you could do this in any color you want. Let me stick a fingernail in here just for the sake of sticking a fingernail in there. Hold on. Yeah, so now you can make these fingers any color you want. This is a white one. You could paint it any color you want. Black, green, this nasty color over here. So we good, right? That was pretty easy to do. Just roll it in a log. Make the indents. Put the fingernail on it. Well, get your fingernail, scrape it up, make it look nasty, put ridges in it, rub some paint on it to make it look crusty. You good to go. We got our cookie here, our pumpkin cookie, and our Frankie cookie, and our fingernail. Where should we put the fingernail? Hmm, let's see. Right? So this is our cookie collection we did this year. So of course we did Frankie today and we did the pumpkin today. Finger cookie. You got your Oreo witch's hat cookie we made. You have, I like this one. 
your monster eye cookie we did a couple of those you got your witch's broom cookie but it's not a cookie it's more like a candy and then we made spider chocolate chip cookies right so we have a whole dish of cookies for you to put on your little display. You got your Frankie and your, you got your little brooms and there you go. A whole cookie collection we did for you to display. Hey guys, so real quick, I just wanted to show you this cute box I downloaded from on Etsy. It was pretty cheap. I think it was like $2. So you download it and you got to print it yourself on cardstock. So it's actually like a retro, like a little retro um, box that... Um, you know treats and stuff used to come in i put a piece of um film on the back to make it look like a real box but you can use it to put your treats in like you know just throw them in there it'll look so cute oops putting it in the wrong way oh that one why am i touching that one over there i'm getting excited you throw your cookies in there. Throw your uh, your little pumpkin cookie, your finger, whatever you have, and you put the lid on. And look how cute that looks. Isn't that cute? The light is kind of shining off of the. I love it. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep crafting whatever your craft is. Paper crafting, clay crafting, whatever kind of craft you're making, you keep doing it. If that's what you love, you keep doing it. It brings you joy. You ain't bothering nobody. You ain't hurting nobody. I'm for that. But until the next video, God bless you guys. Bye.